hey guys so in today's video i'm gonna be giving you guys some tips for blending your digital art or any digital painting really nicely and really easily now this tutorial is not software specific and no matter what software you're using these tips are applicable for all of them so yeah that's what i'm gonna do today so without any further ado let's just jump right in okay guys so the first tip is to avoid using any blending tools or any smudge tools that your software might have as much as you possibly could now i'm not saying that these tools are bad um i'm just saying just avoid using them so frequently so the reason why i am saying this is because these tools actually you know smoothens out everything and also you guys can actually see some harsh blended lines as you guys can see right here right here you can see those harsh edges those harsh lines now it also does depends on the type of blending tool the software has but most of the times the blending tool these blending tools actually you know smoothens out everything and leaves a really harsh looking edges now also it does depends on the opacity of the tool that you're using it can actually blend two colors really nicely if you use it with low opacity but then again it takes a bit of time to do that that is why i say to avoid using blending tools as much as you possibly could because we also want some sort of texture on our digital paintings now this brings me to my next tip which is using your paintbrush that you are using for creating shadows or highlight without having to use the blending tool now what i mean by that is let's just suppose i want to add a shadow on this um, circle so the one way of doing is to create a harsh shadow and just going ahead with the blending tool to kind of blend it out but the way I am suggesting you guys to do it is to use your paintbrush. Now it can be any brush that you're using. So here I'm using soft airbrush and I'm just going to show you how I add shadows or highlights just using that. So basically what I'm doing right here is I am going over this um, object really really lightly to create a shadow and also to make sure that it does not look harsh or the edges at least do not look harsh so that we can avoid using the blending tool and we can still add shadow to the whole object it doesn't actually you know make the shadow look very smooth or soft and also helps in creating some texture over the object i hope that makes sense you guys and similarly you can create some highlights over the object just by using your brush as you guys can see it is creating some texture here and there and also not making it look um you know really soft or really smooth and out so that's that okay guys so the next tip is to always start with a solid color base so let's just suppose right here i have this portrait from one of my videos so as you guys can see i started with this color right here on the in the background and then i started with this color i painted it over the face and then i added um these shadows as you guys can see right here so that's um, that now the reason why i suggest doing that is because you want to build the color or you want to build the shadows or the highlights over that solid color so that the shadows or the highlights are not see-through at all i hope that makes sense i have seen a lot of people doing that always always use a solid base color first then start building up the shadows and the highlights on your painting okay guys so my next tip is to play around with blending modes or layer modes a lot while you're painting i know this is not really related to blending but when you are painting something blending modes or layer modes comes real handy uh, and makes your whole painting process a lot easier so as you guys can see here i have um, the shadow part of this object now i have used the similar base color for the shadow but you guys can see that um, the color looks darker just because i have used 
multiply as layer mode now i have a in-depth tutorial on layer mode so i'd suggest you guys to check that video out so multiply is actually really good for creating shadows it actually makes your whole painting process a lot easier there's a good contrast between the solid base color and the shadows so as you guys can see here also i have used add as layer mode to add highlight onto this object and the highlight looks so prominent and so good nicely saturated good contrast with the base color and the shadow color as well so i suggest you guys using layer modes and blending mode um, quite frequently while you are painting something digitally okay guys so the last tip is to do not blend everything out on your paintings keep a good balance of sharp details and soft details now what do i mean by that sharp details means when the color is not really blended that good and as you guys can see right here over the eyelid or the eye crease the color still looks harsh and it still has some you know harsh edges to it as you guys can see right here over her cheeks and also around the nose as well the color is nicely blended and it looks soft the details are very soft now i have a lot of um, sharp looking details here and there and also some sharp looking you know highlights as well which, which i didn't blend that well because i wanted to create some texture over the face and to make it look more realistic so that's the tip just keep a good balance between sharp details and some harsh edges or harsh looking shadows or highlights and some soft details some really nicely blended shadows and highlights and this is just going to balance out everything and this is just going to create a good texture for whatever painting that you are creating it doesn't really matter it can be a landscape or it can be a portrait painting it can be anything it's just going to create a nice texture for your digital art and that was my last tip i really hope you guys enjoyed um today's tutorial and if you did please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel i post every monday and friday and if you do create something out of my tutorial then tag me on instagram and i will link it down in the description as well and other than that i will see you guys the next time